Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Edge 30, and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So we can clearly see that the phone I have right here is locked, and I can unlock it either using the previously uh, set up pattern, or if I tap right over here, using Google account. But assuming we don't know either of those, to get started with the bypass, you'll want to Number one, connect to Wi-Fi, which you can see I have already done so. Once you've connected to your Wi-Fi, go back to the first page, right over here, and you'll select Vision Settings, and we're gonna select TalkBack, and you wanna enable it. TalkBack on. Welcome to TalkBack. Welcome to TalkBack. Once you enable it, I do recommend muting it. This phone is obnoxiously loud, so uh, it, it's quite distracting. And honestly, we don't really care what the talkback function is telling us. Obviously we can read it ourselves. It's basically written all here and that's what it's reading. So I'm just gonna turn it off. So once you see this page right over here, you will want to draw an L on the screen at any random place. So you just kind of like draw it on the screen. There we go. And it will bring up uh, this window right here. So allow Android access uh, switch to record audio gonna select uh, this option which is already selected because we're using talkback we will need to double tap on it because it's already selected if we have to select it we first single tap it and then double tap it to confirm it so double tap this one you know, again like I mentioned single tap to select this option and then double tap to confirm it now before I do so I'm gonna quickly go into what we need to say so when you tap on this button you I believe will most likely hear a beep and when you hear that beep, you want to say open Google Assistant. It will open Google Assistant and there could be another beep that signifies that the phone is listening to again uh, for commands. And if it does, you want to say open YouTube. Uh, now, when it comes into Google Assistant, once you open that up with a voice command, you will also see like this uh, four dots or bars that will be kind of like moving, listening to you in the middle somewhere like right here, uh, basically listening to you. So you want to say, like I mentioned, open YouTube. And here, I believe you will see a red dot or a green dot or something like that and a beep. So let's see it right now. Open voice... Uh, I messed up, so let's try it again. Uh, I want to say voice command. Let's try it again. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. And there we go. So that's what we wanted to do. Now, once you have opened up YouTube, you want to now suspend the talkback so we can use the screen normally. Because now, as you can see, we can't really scroll. So to do so, you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Press and hold. Then you want to select turn on, double tap on it, and do that once more. And we can now use the screen. So from here, we want to select your account. Then we're going to navigate into. Um, let me quickly check. I'm going to select settings, about, and from here, Google privacy policy. Accept and continue. And no thanks. Right at the top, you want to type in hard reset that info slash bypass. Now, if you need a moment to pause it, I mean to write it, do pause the video. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna go further. Now, from here, you wanna scroll down into the settings application, click on it. This will obviously take you to the settings. And in here, you wanna navigate to apps and notification, or just apps. And from here, select see all 41 apps, tap on the three dots, and then select show system. So now that we can see our system, we're going to start off with the Android setup. It should be somewhere at the top, Android setup. There is only one. So let's click on it. And we're going to select force stop and OK. We're going to go back. And we are now looking for Google Play services. So just Scroll down. OK. 
Okay, so somewhere here. Google Play. There we go. Google Play Services. I'm gonna click on it, and this time around we're gonna select for stop and or disable and for stop. So there we go. And from here, once we have disabled and for stopped uh, Google Play Services, we will now go back to the uh, main settings page <coughs> right here and you want to navigate to accessibility accessibility mini enable it allow and as you can see it gives us this little pop-up select got it and once that is enabled we will just back out to the setup of the phone There we go. And we're gonna progress through the setup. Now, once you see this page right over here with checking for updates and it kind of like glitches just a second and goes back to checking, that's where we need to be. So um, in normal circumstances, they would, this would have just looked for info on the servers of Google and just give you a pop-up that the device is locked and you need to verify it. But right now, because we have disabled Google Play services, the phone cannot access it because the actual feature is turned off. So what we will do right now is tap on this uh, button right here and I'm gonna select Assistant, Settings, which doesn't always work. And you want to select enable, which was like right over here. Now, this will take several tries to actually get it because the phone will close off this page. Uh, I think every time it refreshes or whatever, like it does just close off. I don't know if there is like some kind of uh, rule behind it, but I believe the quicker you cycle through these options, uh, if you just try to spam it as quick as possible, it will slow down the phone just uh, enough for you to be able to enable it. So if you're struggling with getting that uh, Google Play services enable button right here, uh, you will, I would recommend you just try, and try to do it faster. So I'm gonna start doing it right now. There we go. So once enabled, you can then go back. And as you can see, it just completely skips the verification portion of the device. So we can now finish up the setup. Now at this point, just select whatever you want throughout the setup. It does not really matter what you set up because the device is still locked. So what we will need to do is once we finish up the setup, you will want to navigate into the settings. So there we go. Let's navigate straight away to the settings. Then you're going to scroll all the way down to System, Reset Options, Erase All Data Factory Reset, Erase All Data, and then press on that button once again. This will perform a factory reset of your phone, and when it's being done through the settings like we are doing it right now, it will completely remove the uh, previously used security measures, so the Google account that was blocking us, and also uh, pattern, uh, at least in my case. So those will be completely removed. You will unfortunately be back, taken back to the setup screen of the device once the process is completed. But from there, you can just go through the setup as you would normally do by selecting whatever you want, logging into, for instance, Wi-Fi and adding a Google account if you want to. If you don't, you can skip it. Uh, the device will be fully unlocked, like I mentioned. Now I'm not gonna go through it for just the reasons that there is nothing else to show you, because once you press on that button, the bypass is finished. And all you need to do is just go through the setup. So that being said, this is how you could bypass your Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.